The Perseid meteor shower is active every year from mid-July to late August. So this year the shower will peak right around Saturday night and before dawn on Sunday. Here to tell us all about these showers, Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. We're going beyond the barometer, but maybe the, the telescope, <laughs> telescope as well. Point. Yeah, you know, we get a lot of astronomy questions and that really doesn't have anything to do with weather so much, uh, other than the fact that you need to have good weather to be able to see something like a meteor shower or an eclipse. And we do have the Perseid meteor showers that are are going to peak actually the next two nights, so tomorrow night and for uh, Saturday. So let's take a look at the graphic here. If we can go to the graphic, there we go. Uh, so this is the uh, the Perseid meteor showers. What you want to do is you want to look to the northeast. The best viewing is going to be after midnight. And the good news is, at least for this meteor shower, is the fact that not only is the weather supposed to cooperate, but mm -hmm. also the moon will be relatively small. So we're, we're not gonna have oh, a lot of moonlight. In okay. fact, the moon actually isn't expected to, to rise until around 4 a.m. So that means most of the night will be dark and it makes it a lot easier to see meteors if you don't have a big light source like the moon. So I, I think out of the, the two nights, the best uh, viewing will be on Saturday night. Uh, but if we clear out in time later tomorrow night after the storms, and most of this again after midnight, so the storms tomorrow are expected to be more you know, in the evening. Mm -hmm. A few could linger after midnight, but uh, the later that, uh, that we clear out, you know, the better the, the viewing will be. We do have some additional upcoming meteor showers. Uh, the or Orionids uh, that come from the uh, Orion uh, constellation, that'll be October 20th and 21st, should be on par with the uh, with the Perseids that we're seeing, the Leonids, uh, that would be November 17th through the 18th, and then we also have the uh, Geminids, uh, that will be in December between the 13th and the 14th. And the good news uh, for all of these is that the Moon will be less than half full, and in, in the case of the Geminids, actually uh, there should be very little moonlight at all that would interfere. So then it's just a matter of whether or not the weather cooperates right. to be able to see them. But uh, at, at peak, we could be looking at somewhere between about 50 and 75 uh, meteors uh, per hour. Per so, hour? So, wow. Per hour. So, so just you know, look like up almost or north, north, south, east? Toward, toward the northeast, you know, okay. uh, and if you're away from city lights, that will help too because you don't have the light pollution to interfere. But uh, yeah, it could be a pretty spectacular show uh, later Friday night and uh, as we head into Saturday. So I think it's go. always fun just to lay out there and just yep. <laughs> see what you find and count them. It's a lot easier to lay out there mm -hmm. during August than it is during <laughs> yes. December. That yes. is you true. Know, looking from <laughs> that is true. So. But, right. Well, uh, fingers yeah. crossed for clear skies. Yeah, I, I, like I say, I think Saturday night should be no problem. Uh, tomorrow mm -hmm. night there's uh, at least a possibility that we should be able to see them. And even outside of that, you know, we, there, you could see some additional meteors, but that will be the peak. Okay. Just keep looking up. Keep looking up, right? Gary, thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>